Okay, in this video we're just going to do a little bit on Alice and all we're going to do in the, the, this section is we're going to introduce a couple of uh, objects onto Alice and we're going to set some camera markers and then we're going to go into the edit section and we're going to show how we can get edit to navigate those camera markers. So I'm going to open Alice and we're running Alice 3.3 .3 here but it should be the same on any of the um, versions of Alice. I'm going to accept the terms and conditions. And for the simplicity of this one, I'm just going to use grass and press OK. I'm going to go to scene setup. And I'm going to use a very simple uh, object. I'm just going to use a bear cub to start with. So I'm going to click on the bear cub. I'm going to drag it onto. Um, the window and let go. I'm going to use a black bear cup and I'm going to call it um, black bear cub. Remembering not to leave any uh, gaps in there because that will obviously not work. Press OK and I've, there I've got my black bear cup. Now what I want to do here is I want to try and set some camera markers so that I can use the positions later. On the right hand side of the window if I scroll down a little you can see there's some camera markers. We're going to add a camera marker here and we're going to say looking at bear. It's nice and descriptive and easy to find later. I'm going to add a second camera marker and for this time I want to be looking from the bear's viewpoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to camera, I'm going to go to procedures. I don't keep going off it. Okay. And I'm going to go move in orientate to the bear cub, and I'm going to select the bear cub's head. Okay, so I'm now looking as if I'm the bear cub. Now, if I take a slight step forward so that I'm not actually catching too much of his nose, or I can take a slight step backwards so I can see kind of uh, the bridge of his nose there, which I think looks a little bit strange, but I'll take a step forward, and I'm going to add that camera marker as bear's view. Now, if I go to the edit code option, what I want to do here is I want to set it. So we start with uh, a view of the bear. So we're going to go here and we're going to go on to this camera. And on this camera, we're going to go to move and orientate, move and orient to. Okay. And we're going to start with looking at um, bear. So this camera moves and orientates to looking at bear, and if I press run, okay, we can see the bear in the uh, in the foreground. Now we might have wanted to go closer, and we could have set that up at the start. We can also add some features in that let us do that later. And then we can want to, after we've oriented the bear, we want to swing around so that we're looking from the bear's viewpoint. So it's the same thing. So it's move and orientate two, and this time it's going to be um, the bear's view. And if we run those two. We start with the bear's view, and then we swing. Sorry, the view of the bear, and then we very, very quickly swing around and look at from the bear itself. Now, obviously, it's too quick. We need to put some other things happening in between there, and we might want to use some movements um, so that we then pan out or pan in. But it gives us two good starting points in our program. 